What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are finally back for some more Minecraft Dungeons. That's right. We've got a new event going on in the game right now, which is the birthday event, where you basically, as far as I understand, there's going to end up being daily trials, and you got to complete like a whole bunch of them. And something along the lines of if you beat all of them, or uh, 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 not even all of them, I think you have to beat a week's worth of them, which means coming back every day for a week, uh, in order to end up getting all of the items from the event. As far as I know, as far as I know, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be focusing on the DLC. Now, I, you know, I might still end up doing one of those birthday trials just because that's going to basically end up being the free to play content. And I will end up having a patch notes video, but for today, we're just going to focus on all of the uh, all the cool stuff. Be careful here, raid champions have been spotted in the area and could show up in any mission that you have already completed. The raid champions have a bounty on their heads. Take them out to receive additional rewards. So basically what these guys are going to do is when we find them uh, out in a mission, uh, you'll kill them and then a random modifier will end up being applied for the rest of the mission Whether it be something good for you or something bad for you kind of the same multipliers that you see in daily trials So it could end up being really really bad. I'm, I'm sorry guys I'm gonna be openly critical about the end game in Minecraft Dungeons because I hate it. I hate it I hate it. I hate it like the the Minecraft Dungeons The best part about this game was that it was a casual Diablo experience and then they ended up adding the nether portals and the, the ancient hunts and it just got stupid because now we actually have the gilded gear in the game if you guys haven't already checked out and basically this is just the exact same as every other gear but it just has an additional passive enchantment and that passive enchantment is random and it's just dumb because it's like okay so now it just made all of my gear useless because I'm missing an extra enchantment on all my gear like okay and then the ancient portal itself all of these symbols on all of this gear actually does make a difference and the end game basically boils down into when you complete a daily dungeon uh, in Minecraft dungeons like a daily trial you'll end up getting a unique piece of gear that is exclusive to the daily trials and then you use that to create a portal out of the ancient hunt and then you'll end up having a chance of getting the rarest gear in the game so it's literally time gated and it's overly complicated and i don't know how anybody uh, in their right mind would ever figure out how all of those symbols work and everything and it's just disgusting anyways let's uh sorry it's been where is my buttons there geez sorry it's been a hot second since i played let's see what is our new creature today <gasps> it's a turtle oh my god look at him he's f why is he floating through the air what <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's the sunken, the sunken temple. Okay, here we go. Oh, it even has an event ends timer. I don't know why anyone would want full cake armor like that, but hey, whatever. We're releasing a free cape. The cape is pink and gross. Uh, as part of our anniversary festivities, all that stands between you and a sweet new look are a few seasonal trials. Take them on now. Should we do one of the trials before... Yeah, look, zero out of seven. Okay, so we got a little bit over the amount of daily trials that we need. Okay, whatever. And then if we go to other dimensions... Oh, never mind. This is uh, this is just the nether. I guess that makes sense because the nether, it, you know... The next DLC is going to be the end. So that'll be cool. Where's my sunken depths? <gasps> there it is. Ooh. Oh, it looks cool. Now, uh, they did mention that the missions that we're going to get in the sunken temple, uh, it, it seems like they went back to the usual where it's just going to be three missions and then probably one secret mission, which is a little bit disappointing considering that the nether was six missions. Well, six including the daily trial, but... I, I really love the nether update. I think that it was their best one yet because all the other DLC, though the areas are really cool, they feel too long, you know? Like these areas just go on and on and on and on and on. And it's just like, dude, I don't want these levels to all be 40 minutes long, especially when this game crashes as often as it does and I lose all my progress. You know what? We don't need to do this trial on camera. Let's just skip through it. I'll just use this as an opportunity for me to... Uh, unrest myself from the game and then we'll go right into the sunken temple okay guys well that was short and sweet 
I mean, thankfully I was doing it on a pretty low difficulty for me anyways, just because I don't really care for the end game as much. But the interesting thing is that it actually counted as a full-fledged daily trial. So as I mentioned before, you can get, uh, end up getting very, very unique uh, items that are exclusive to the daily trial. Not these things. That's actually pretty cool. I want to see what this does. Uh, but I ended up getting like some some of the ghost armor for example and that is normally only gotten during daily trials My point is that this events pretty cool then because that means that that's even more opportunity to end up getting more daily trial items, right? This is a weapon. It's actually stronger than my katana, too <laughs> It's just a torch. <laughs> what the heck? Okay uh, Increase attack speed is special. Okay. Well, you know what? We could level it up and see what it does. I just wanted to see if that guy ended up having any of the new gear, because sometimes you can cheese it. <gasps> There's new gear! Coral Blade! I'm gonna grab it. Ooh, that's a lot of power. Rapid slashes. Well, <laughs> let's take a sneak peek. Oh my gosh! That's a pretty good weapon, actually. Yeah, the enchantments are okay, but most of all, that's a, that's a pretty good enchantment. Okay, so apparently I could do another seasonal mission. Cool, I'll have to do that. Uh, well, I guess I can do that real quick right now as well, right? Oh my god, I'm never going to get to the new DLC. Okay, I did want to show you guys this though, because we actually have uh, torment arrows, <laughs> just as the enchantment for our normal arrows. And uh, you're looking at a guy that means the harp bow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, everything just gets pushed around, dude. This uh, this weapon's actually pretty good. It, it's better than I thought. It kind of operates the same as, like, I guess the diamond sword. So, it's it's not bad. All right, gamers, let's see what we ended up getting for that one. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's uh, something a little cooler. I mean, not that this is bad, but I'm not the biggest fan of torch. Torch power. Ooh, Sugar Rush. This candy-colored bow has a surprising bitter taste. Okay. Not going to be better than my bow, I swear to God. Uh, chance to enrage mobs and hits multiple targets. That's a pretty good bow, actually. What was that? When I equip it? Did you hear that? <laughs> what about this? Uh, it does kind of a... Ooh. What? It's like a party bow. That's cute. I like that. I'm actually getting stuff that's a higher gear score than most of my other stuff too, which is interesting. Okay, well, that was like 20 minutes for me, but probably only like five minutes for you guys. However, here we go into the new coral rise. Finally into the sunken depths and it looks beautiful. Now, the one thing about this area that I saw in their tweets and stuff, which is kind of kind of garbo, is it's got a gimmick. Far beneath the waves, a shard of the They're attacking that turtle. Festus. Among the brilliant corals and bubbling vents, corruption seeps from a dark trench and threatens to suffocate all life. It will take a hero indeed to brave the crushing depths and vanquish the terror that lurks beneath. Dang, dude, it looks really good. Yeah, so we have to stand by these things, otherwise we're slowly suffocating, as we can see with that little health bar beside our, uh, beside our normal hearts, which, gross. I wanted to just experience this area. You guys did not need to include that aspect of Minecraft. When they die, they ragdoll up into space. This place is amazing. <laughs> I take back everything I said. Oh, man, the arrows even. We just got a trident. We just got a trident. Didn't we? I thought we just got a trident. I guess not. What the heck was that? Was that like some healing potion or something then? Maybe. Dang it, dude. Okay, so I do I bounce? Whoa. I thought it was gonna throw me, but the physics, dude. That's actually really cool. Oh, wait. What? I, I hit that guy with the trident or, or was that just that guy? I mean, I still want to trident really badly. Maybe that was the enemy's trident. I do like this. I do like this a lot. Okay. Even though I still don't really care for the, oh, you're drowning feature, because that sounds kind of gross. 
I do really like all this other stuff. Like, that's pretty crazy. It's so unique. Even, even just going off of a tiny little ledge uh, has our character kind of float down. It's basically the equivalent to an outer space level. The enemies really don't seem to know how to deal with it. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Oh, delicious fish. I don't know how there's lava down here, but I guess it's supposed to be like magma. Oh, that was just a katana. I thought it was a new weapon. So are we going to deal with magma blocks? Yeah, see, look, we ended up getting a trident. Oh, it changed. I see. It changed a couple of my ranged shots. Or, or maybe just one of them into throwing a trident. Well, I really hope that I can get a piece of gear that's a trident because that would be super lame if if we don't end up getting a trident, dude. I'm guessing, too, the armor in here, it's probably going to have a gimmick where it's just like, oh, it makes it so that you don't need to breathe as much or something. Man, my arrows cannot clear the entire screen. See, now that is an interesting way of keeping the player down, you know, like keeping me weak. Turtle armor, because it means that I suddenly can't screen clear the entire screen with my bow alone, you know, really cool. You okay, these guys are super slow. Um, turtle armor, damage reduction, and healing boost. What the heck is the point of a healing boost? <gasps> he looks so adorable. I'm like a ninja turtle now. Look at that. He looks great. I don't care if I'm getting hit. Leave me alone. I'm trying to take a screenshot of the armor here, dude. <laughs> it's probably being butchered, but whatever. That's a pretty good armor, then. I don't understand the heal buff, but uh, the rest of it seems pretty good, like the armor reduction or damage reduction, I mean. Oh, God, I love ragdolling them. <gasps> I don't know what that weird slime thing was, but don't think that's in normal Minecraft. Then again, it's been years since I played uh, vanilla Minecraft, so I don't know what the ocean depths is even like. I know that there's all of this cool coral stuff, but... Oh, did you notice that too? I gotta stand on this for a while to regenerate all of our uh, air. That kind of sucks. I thought it was just an instant. Like, I would prefer if it was a little more arcadey, where you just step on it and then that's it. And you're. <laughs> where did all of my items go? Potion of water breathing. Ooh! Sweet! I like it, dude. Okay, maybe maybe the gimmick's not as bad as I thought because it's kind of it, like that's the thing is I while I still don't really care for the gimmick, it's not my favorite thing. Ooh, you get air out of chests as well. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I do like the fact that they committed hard to making this entire area like feel underwater and feel different. Like this is cool, except for that guy. He belongs in the jungle. I don't know. I don't know why they're down here. <laughs> That's, that's kind of lame. What are you doing down here? This is not your domain. <laughs> okay. I guess they're using, like, uh, assets from the other area to kind of be like, oh, well, it's a, you know, it's just a normal temple. So, uh, technically, that enemy would be there. Wait, I just realized that our dash... Did you see that? He does the spin spin a Rooney dash that he does when he has the trident in the real game. Sweet, dude. I don't really know what is going on in this area. There's so many different pathways and stuff. I'm assuming this is a treasure door, right? Ow! Something hurt me. Rapid crossbow. Get away from me. I also realized I didn't even have my pet the whole time. Look at those arrows just slowly falling into the background. Dude, that's actually really cool. I like this area. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Plus, it's very pleasant on the eyes, you know? It kind of reminds me of, uh, I, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to think like Path of Exile or something. It actually really reminds me of a really, really old game, uh, Champs of Norath, I think it was called. But it had like a big underwater area and was uh, kind of like this. Yeah, okay, so it gives me a trident for one shot. I can see it on my uh, hotbar right now. Cool. Bear get some unique treasure. Urgh. What does the trident do? Oh, and then it explodes after? That's kind of lame. I guess because it's supposed to be that it's doing the uh, lightning attack afterwards. Right? I guess. 
delicious fishes. No, that's a way backwards. Excuse me, I'm a little congested. I mean, this is still dope. But at the same time, I feel like I should really be using my speed cure. <laughs> like, uh, if there's anywhere I should be using it, it's here. Is this a trap? <laughs> Bong. I mean, that was kind of cool, I guess. Get away from me, you guys. I still will never get tired of the ragdolling. Like, that's actually so good. Do they do that in vanilla Minecraft? I don't think they do, do they? I mean, that would be really dope if they did. Then I would really like the water area more. Where is my treasure for crying out loud? Like, what is at the end of all this? I haven't gotten a single chest. There's a squid. And it dropped fish. Okay, so they just count as the animals. Makes sense. What else would they end up having as the... Uh, ambient creature that we kill for no reason. Oh, this is for the secret map already? What? Well, we got really lucky. Dang, dude. Okay, so secret map is on the first map. I, I guess. Cool. Ow! I died because they had deflect, didn't they? I tried healing, but he didn't heal out for some reason. Did they have deflect? I feel like they might have, but I maybe they didn't. Maybe they were just that strong. No, they just had protection. So they just hurt that much. See, that's the thing. Could you imagine if I was trying to do this on Apocalypse 15? Uh-uh. Get off the ledge, fool. Whoa! I did not mean to do that. Yeah, these guys hurt a lot. Oh, right, because I'm an idiot. I'm rocking my turtle armor instead of good armor. <laughs> no wonder. Okay, now back to taking no damage. How do I get up to the where that is, though? I guess it's up over here? How do I get up there? What the heck? Oh, I didn't even notice that because the camera. We. Oh, there's a button. Oh, dang it. They're really trying to push this whole, like, oh, you're drowning thing, which, eh. I mean, at least it seems to work with the physics. Like, I was on top of it, and it seemed to, you know, the bubble still ended up going up. Drowned Necromancer. What the heck? What are you? Get off the ledge, you fool. Oh, my God. Look at his screen-clearing abilities. Well, that's one down. I guess there's multiple. Get destroyed. Dude, can you get down here, please? Whatever, bro. You know what? Die. <laughs> oh, God. I keep, I keep forgetting I need to get air. Okay. Uh, did that open the gate? Is that what that did? Yeah. Okay. This is what the switch did. I like how I love the fact that in this game the enemies just don't drop gear. That's my favorite. So technically it was kind of pointless for me to even fight that guy. There's my precious map. I want it. Wee. Die. Oh my god, I still love them floating away. There was a chest there. There was too much coral in the way. I can't see it. Dang it, dude. Wee. And then this will take me to our map. Yeah, there we go. Radiant Ravine. <clears throat> cool. Oh, okay. The drowning is not nearly as bad as I thought. I thought it was just going to insta-kill me. I didn't know it would just slowly drain my health. That's not a big deal at all. <laughs> okay. I regress all of my points. <laughs> That's not bad at all. I mean, this area, this whole room was kind of pointless, wasn't it? I mean, we got the map, sure, but I'm, I want gear, dude. That's the big reason why I'm even here, is I want to end up getting gear. I don't know, like, 
One of my big criticisms about this game um, is that it's like, I don't like, <sighs> like, how often do you think that people are going to end up repeating this map? That's kind of the thing, because it is slow, dude. Like, I would really have to actually be geared up properly with speed gear. And even then, the DLC maps, uh, I wish that the devs would take note and actually fix them. The DLC maps are never better than just doing normal, like, uh, default maps. Sure, you end up getting all the unique gear. This is a new pathway. Oh my god, it just keeps going. <clears throat> But sure, you end up getting all the new gear and stuff like that out of these areas. However, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, jeez. There's a dolphin, can I kill it? I killed a dolphin. I am truly evil. Anyways, as you can see, like we've barely gotten any gear out of this entire dungeon, which kind of means that the whole place is uh, not nearly as good as doing any other area because the whole point of uh, well, for the most part, if you're not doing the uh, the ancient portals, the ancient hunts, there's a piece of gear and it's just Garbo. If you're not doing the ancient hunts, you're trying to get as much gear as possible so that you can either break it down or level it up uh, so that you can hopefully end up being stronger going into the next area because this whole game is just about gear score. And that's my gripe that I've always had with the DLC is these areas are really, really cool but they're really short-lived because the maps are extremely long, which means that they're very inefficient to farm. Uh, on top of that, they don't drop enough considering how long these maps are. Because that's the thing. I'm fine with a 40-minute map, but it better be giving me 40 minutes worth of loot of me just doing a shorter level, but it doesn't, you know? And I hate to, uh, like, be all overly critical and stuff, but it's just... It's just something that I have as, like, always been worried that are they going to fix it this update? Or are they going to fix it this update? And they still haven't. The one cool thing, though, if you guys didn't know, is that uh, if only one of your friends has the DLC, they can actually carry you into the area. So that's neat. Ooh, this is kind of spooky. It was, and then these guys showed up. But yeah, even like even if you're free to play and well free to play if if you don't have any of the DLC You can still get the DLC weapons and you can still use them even without having the pack It's just you have to have your friend uh, be the host that carries you into the maps. That's all Is there is there a bubble stream around here or is the challenge? <laughs> is the challenge that I'm slowly going to drown that is a bubble blow. That's a new one. Oh, never mind. We're not drowning at all because we still have our water potion. Perfect. This area is huge. It just keeps going. My god. This isn't even part of the main area, by the way. Like, this was just for loot as far as I know. Okay, what is this button gonna do? Well, there's a unique auto crossbow. What did that do? Drowned Necromancer. Where'd they show up? Whoa! Well, that was the trident explosion. Because I tagged him with the trident, and then when it exploded, it killed them. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I open this coral? There we go. What is in that door then? I don't know. So there's gotta be treasure back here, right? I mean, we're getting really lucky with the generation in terms of uh, getting all the special areas to show up. Treasure, treasure. Also, it gives me air. That's a big reason why I want it. <laughs> Woo! That was close. Stop. Get out of here, you guys. All right, I guess that's all it was for, was just that one piece of loot. Cool. Fishies. All right, let's take a quick peek. Uh, Garbo. Garbo, Garbo, Garbo. I mean, I can probably keep one of these just because. So there's the bubble bow. 
Bubble damage. Excuse you? What does that mean? I'm guessing it goes a longer distance. I don't... Okay, here's our shortcut out. Okay, that was that path that we saw earlier. Cool. Well, I'll try it out. I don't know what bubble damage is. Because <laughs> there is literally no such thing. Oh! He's stuck in a bubble. Is that what it does and now he can't move? Oh, that's a pretty good bow. I'm sorry, bubble fish. Yeah, he stays in the bubble until he takes damage. That's actually a really good, uh, that's a good ability. Like if you had that with multi-shot or something, that could be really, really good for crowd control. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Good thing I caught it right there. That could be a pretty good bow then. I still want to get like the harpoon and I want to feel like I'm some underwater warrior or something instead of turtle armor. Like, I mean, obviously there's a unique version of the turtle armor, which is going to be cool, but. Ah, yes. Find the gate buttons. Okay. Seems simple enough. There's one right there. <laughs> How do I get to it? Oh my God. How am I doing on arrows? Oh, we still got 85. We're fine. Woo! I love how, like, the air blocks or, like, the bubble stream. It actually, like, when we jump on top of it, it acts like an elevator for a short moment and actually lifts us before we come down because I'm too fat. But, uh, that's cool. Like, the, the little touches, dude. There's so many of them, and I love it. The music is just kind of uh, trippy, but it makes it kind of relaxing at the same time, which is kind of nice. Okay, I guess that was it, right? I mean, there is a pathway here. I'm guessing this is just gonna be some treasures. Die! Ow! I need, I need, I need, uh, I need air, thank you. Thank you so much, okay. So these little forks in the road means that there's loot on them. Okay. Why when I use that ability, sometimes it just doesn't want to heal. I don't get it. There, now it did. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to see if there was any error loot down one of the error paths. Uh-oh, this can't be good. Whoa, it looks cool though. Dang, dude, it doesn't seem to affect the enemies at all, which is kind of annoying, but can I get over there? No, doesn't look like it. Dang it, I wanted to try and kill him. It killed my sheep! It pushed him off the edge! My poor sheep! What the heck, dude? Ooh! Ooh, now that's cool. Oh, it still counts as underwater. I don't really know what's happening. Is this thing slowly just counting down? Whoa, that was neat. Conduit. Oh my God. It's an item that I can just pick up and throw down like TNT. Okay, this place is awesome. That's a great mechanic. Oh my God. Especially in co-op too? Ow, that guy has deflect. Dude, that's so sick. <laughs> All right, where's this stupid necromancer? Die. Ow. I forgot that's the one that had the deflect on him. That guy had thorns, that's why he hurt me. Hey, we just got a unique soul fist. Okay, that's... That's nothing special, that's just from the normal game. What am I waiting on? What enemy is still alive? Hello? Oh, hey stupid. Okay, and then there's like a crap ton of pathways, but it seems like these are the treasure routes. So now there's not gonna be any air pockets, is there? Oh no, there still is. Okay. Uh-oh. I 
I mean, I just like the fact that it just seems to infinitely work. Like, we can just place it down wherever. Oh, God! I wasn't really expecting to fight these guys this quickly. Also, their video effects was insane. Ow. Feel the pain train, stupid. God, I love when they float up to death. Beautiful. I love, I love them floating, dude. This area is so much more unique than every other area. I can't believe it. Like, I'm, I'm just so surprised because it's like most of the era DLC areas are kind of like they're, they're unique, obviously, but they kind of just have like one gimmick and then they're really forgettable. This one, it seems like they really, like they actually worked on this area. Not to imply they didn't work on the other areas, but like the nether was basically just lava dungeons, uh, you know, and obviously it ended up adding the ancient portal. But that was accessible to everybody. It wasn't necessarily just DLC. Oh my god, that turtle is spinning. I killed him. Now, the only thing is that with this on my head, obviously I don't get my ranged attacks, but not that big a deal at the same time. Because I can always throw it down. Oh my god, I love how the squids actually spurt out their ink. That's hilarious. Die, squid, die. Whoa. Secret chest. Not that I need the oxygen. Okay, so this wave is kind of pointless. I keep trying to go for the air when it's like, I don't need to. I'm carrying a conduit. <laughs> like, conduit's in the normal uh, game too, isn't it? Like, I'm pretty sure it's used so that you can make underwater bases or something. I don't, I don't fully know, but... Neato, dude. It's neat that they keep doing all these things. Dude, come back here. Oh, the auto-targeting was a bit gross on that. Sorry, I keep peeking at the map. I'm just getting so lost. Die, puffer fish. Okay, so that apparently is the correct way, which means we have to take a detour. It's just air. I figured there was going to be a hidden chest. I mean, at least now we're starting to get a little bit more loot, but again, the fact that we've spent so much time on this one level and have barely gotten anything to show for it, that's that's the problem. Especially, especially since the end game is the ancient portals, and it's literally about just using fodder gear. You know? Because you're just trying to get as much gear as possible so that you can end up opening as many ancient hunts as possible, and... Uh, uh, again, it's just it, it, it's it's just disappointing that the DLC doesn't acknowledge that Because I love the DLC and I want an excuse to actually play it more But I don't really have any reason to other than just to collect all the new gear and then move on, you know <laughs> But I mean at least there's and and then with player trading obviously that became a lot easier now We I still love this area though. Oh my god. Like, it's really cool, dude. I'm excited to play through this with uh, some of my friends that have Minecraft Dungeons as well. Might end up doing some videos with the guys. We'll, we'll see. But I think first, we're just going to play through each of the levels, like, once per day. <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, once we end up getting all of the birthday items, I can have a video highlighting that. Um, ooh, sunken ship. Let's go. That's a big ship. Good God. Defeat the drowned. Okay. Easy enough. I'm guessing the final boss of the DLC, it's got to be a like a guardian or whatever, right? Die. Man alive. I like this. I like this thing a lot. I hope that they use this gimmick in the other levels. Excuse you? Why are you not dying? 
They must have had like some regen or something. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there he is. Yeah, regeneration. Die. Die win? No. Music's not bad. It's kind of cool. I don't like. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I if I can criticize one thing, it's the repeated enemies. I I don't feel like. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, go away, Flem. I don't feel like they needed to reuse what is happening. Reuse enemies from the rest of the game. Like obviously, oh, look, we can see the shadow of the guardian. Yeah, he's the final boss, all right. Oh, cool, dude. That was neat. That was kind of freaky. Oh, never mind. He's not the final boss of the DLC. He is uh, literally the boss of uh, this one area alone. He's just a new mini boss. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to be the big chungus boss. Cool. Okay, so now we're going into the temple and then the level's going to end, right? Yeah, because now the next level will be inside the temple. Cool, dude. Yeah, that was neat. Anyways, I, I don't like I don't mean a nitpick. It's just, you know, like fighting a necromancer. Like, can we at least have like some variant of it that doesn't just look like he's taken out of the desert biome? <laughs> Alright, well hopefully we'll get a new piece of gear out of that. Come on. Whoa. Harpoon quiver. The quiver holds a number of harpoons that swiftly pierce through enemies on land or underwater. Okay. 30 second cooldown. That's a lot of damage, actually. You know what? I'm not using my healing thing, so let's, uh... So it gives me five arrows. <laughs> Heart bow go burr. <laughs> of course. So it's piercing. That's insanely overpowered for my bow. Because look at this. I have chain reaction, I have ricochet, I have multi-shot. All of those can stack on one another, so... That combined with piercing, <laughs> it means that an arrow can literally hit an enemy and then it can shoot another arrow out of it and it could also trigger multi-shot, so <laughs> that's actually a really, really good quiver. That's a really, really good quiver. You got anything new? Any of the new stuff? What about you, Dum Dum? His shop seems different. Did he always have this soul thing in front? Maybe he did. I don't know. Uh, well, let's buy one random piece, I guess. I mean, hey, I'll take it just because it's stronger than my other one. The whole game is all about that gear score, right? So, what were the uh, legendaries that we got? Or the uniques that we got? I mean, I guess cool. And then I guess I'll keep the turtle armor for now, but I'm pretty close to max. Pretty close to max amount of uh, storage. Maybe, maybe I'll give these to some of my buddies. I mean, still, that's pretty darn cool. And that's a great first start. So then we've also got the, uh, where's the other DLC? Or not DLC, the other area. This one right here. Okay. Now, the cool thing too, I noticed. Yeah, look at that. So we got the turtle armor. We got the bubble bow. We bought the coral blade. And then we ended up getting the harpoon quiver. But there's also two new artifacts right here as well. Ooh. What about the unique level? <gasps> <laughs> Look at that. That's a melee weapon that just... Oh, my face cam's covering it. Sorry. It looks like an anchor. And then this looks like a weird crossbow, which I think it would be really cool if they had like a melee crossbow. That would be kind of neat. And then a new piece of armor. So that's cool. And then probably the same two artifacts. Wait. Oh, there's already a boss. And then... Oh, and then the daily mission. Wait, really? So it's literally just one, two, three, that's it? And then the daily mission? Are you kidding me? And then this boss has pretty much uh, all the same gear. <laughs> this could potentially be the shortest DLC ever. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, gamers. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the first part in us going through this new DLC. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel. Bye, guys.